Hello and welcome back to my channel. I made this set of cupcakes for my brother and sister-in-law's wedding last summer. Their color scheme was so beautiful, it was a dusty rose pink, a sage green, and white. I decided to use four different piping designs for these. I'll be using 1M tips, a 199 tip, a 103 tip, and a small open star tip that's not numbered, but I would compare it to maybe like an 18. I'm given a large order like this, but also creative freedom with piping design. Sometimes I'll plan it out ahead and write down designs I want to make. Keeping with the same color scheme, sometimes it's reload your piping bags as you work. Move on to the next design once you finish a bag. This first design, I started with just a pink rosette. Instead of swirling around multiple times to fill up the cupcake, I just swirled around once. I added some green ribbons using the 103 petal tip. Filled in the remaining open space using the white with the 199 tip with some drop stars. This style is fun because while you're doing the same thing to each cupcake, they all end up a little bit unique. You can even switch up the colors to maybe doing like a white rosette or a green rosette and pink ribbons or something as well. The tip for the ribbons is keeping the wide end of the petal tip down and the narrow end upward. It's a more thin defined ribbon look. I'm using a vanilla American buttercream frosting for these and I added a bit more powdered sugar to stiffen the consistency for piping. I'm working on getting all my recipes up on my website very soon so please continue to check back for those. I'll let you know when they're live as well. Bride and groom also had rose gold accents at their wedding so I was able to find some different rose gold sprinkles here. Pretty sparkly sanding sugar. Dang it just a pink rosette to give it a little sparkle and texture. Again, for a large order, you can certainly fill all your piping bags first and then pipe all your cupcakes. Sometimes I'll fill and change up my designs as I go. We're just getting ready for the next set. I came up with this cupcake design a while back. I've probably seen the popular spiral borders people make on cakes, and I wanted to make a smaller version on a cupcake. Using a small open star tip for this, it's not numbered because it came from a piping kit, but I would compare it maybe to like an 18 or a 21. A 16 would give you the same look too. You can definitely use a large turntable for this as well. I just happen to have a small one for cupcakes I like to use. Key is to take your time, maintain even piping pressure, and make sure each loop sits on the last loop. I like to fill in the center with just a 1M rosette, but you can use another large piping tip, or you can use drop stars, or just fill the whole thing with sprinkles too. On these shiny rose gold dragees to match the theme of the wedding as well. The cupcake designs are different but still coordinate with each other. Next design I made here, I made a pink 1M rosette and also a green 1M rosette right next to it. Then I just filled in the spaces with the 199 tip using the white, just like we did in the first design. Another variation of this that would be fun that I just didn't quite get to would be to do three rosettes, one in each color. They're nice small rosettes, just swirl around one time and pull away. Then all the gaps using the 199 drop stars. The best tip I have for drop stars is to squeeze with medium pressure until it's as large as you want, and then make sure you release your pressure entirely before pulling away. But you don't end up with a long, pointy, tall drop star. The last design I made for these is just a big, simple cupcake rosette using a 1M tip. You could also use a 2D tip for this as well, it's just a little more roughly looking. Both are very beautiful. A large cupcake rosette like this is a nice way to cover a lot of cupcakes but still make them look very beautiful. I made these in each of their wedding colors as well and then they dispersed all the different styles on the tables.
thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you think of this color scheme. I think it's very beautiful. I also made a chocolate set with some different piping designs that I'm excited to share later on. Again, keep your eyes on my website. I'll be uploading recipes very soon. Thanks for watching.